Hi everyone! So today I am so excited for this video. I have created a tag. So a little background. Um, when I first started watching BookTube, I for the most part watched mostly UK uh, BookTubers. Um, I watched some American booktubers, but for some reason, I mostly just watched UK. I don't, I don't know why. It had nothing to do with like a bias. I, I maybe it was just the ones I discovered were mostly just UK uh, booktubers, um, or maybe it's just because you know, in my subconscious, I really just want to live in England. I don't know. Um, but so, so I decided to create a tag based off of my favorite some of my favorite um, booktubers that are from the UK and Australia and New Zealand. So I have created the UK and Australia and New Zealand booktuber tag. So let's jump right in. So my rules, I have a couple rules for this tag. Rule number one is that you can give more than one book. It does not have to be just one book per, per question. As many books as you would like to, to um, offer per question, I don't care. Rule number two, you do not have to have read the book that you are talking about. It could be a book you are currently reading or a book that is on your TBR list. It doesn't matter. The whole goal of this tag is just to share books and to share these wonderful, fabulous booktubers that I admire and I love so much. Um, I'm totally going to be fanboying on all of these people, so just a little warning. Um, yeah, just bear with me, okay? So let's jump right in! I will obviously link all of these booktubers down below, so don't you worry. Okay, here we go. Number one, Beyond the Pages. This is Anne. She is fabulous and adorable, and I don't know how that girl reads so much. It's insane. So Anne reads mostly, or a lot, of classics. So my question is to name your favorite classic. So for this, I have two books that I read. I'm not a I'm not big into classics, as you can imagine, as you can see. So the first one I read is my first Jane Austen ever, and it was Northanger Abbey. And I really, really like this book. Basically, it's about Catherine Moreland, who is caught up in this, you know, big mansion, and she gets scared by, you know, very trivial things. It's, it's very funny. Um, it's a very quick read. I really enjoyed the writing. Um, so yeah, that's Northanger Abbey. The other book I really enjoyed, actually, was Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Uh, you know, going into this, I always thought this was like some horror novel, but actually it is not at all. It is really character driven. Um, it asks a lot of questions about, you know, your morals. It talks about things like the pur your purpose of life and nature and even gender roles and sexuality and lots of wonderful things that I had no idea um, Frankenstein was about. So I really, really enjoyed this. So the book I'm trying to get through is Jane Eyre um, by Charlotte Bronte. I will get through this thing. It's really good. I just am never in the mood to read this, but I will read this someday. So that's my classics for you. Okay, number two, Books and Pieces, your favorite science fiction novel. Hi, Books and Pieces. I hope you guys are watching this. That would be so cool. So probably one of my top science fiction um, books that I read, which is really, really recent, is Radiance by Catherine M. Valente. This book is big, but it's also really complex. It's about so many things. Basically, it's about a film director who goes missing on a planet um, while she's filming a documentary. Um, but there is just so much going on in this book. It's told through interviews. It's told through scripts from movies. It's told through m many different um, narratives. There's so many different characters. It covers so much. It is so amazing. And I do not have time to talk about this book um, in this video, but I will go ahead and link Erica's channel down below. Erica's video, she reviews this book and, t and talks a lot about it. It is incredible. If you've not read Radiance and you really like science fiction, um, I would totally check this out. It's fabulous. The book I'm currently reading that I know I'm going to absolutely love because I'm absolutely loving it right now is The Small Way. Sorry, the, I always say that. The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. This is incredible. I'm not going to say anything about it until, uh, you know, after I finish reading it. And of course, I'll talk about it then. But oh, this is good, you guys. Number three, Books and Quills, Sana. This is your favorite YA novel. Well, I've got two for you. Okay, first is a book I've talked about before. This is The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You by Lily Anderson. I read this before Booktubeathon. 
Oh, as you know, I, Lily's a friend of mine. She's fabulous. If you've not, you guys really get this book. She, I can't stress this enough. Um, so many geeky references in this. You know, it talks about Doctor Who and Star Wars, Star Trek, so many of those kind of things in this. Um, the the whole story is based off of Much Ado About Nothing, so you've got that whole love thing going on. Really, really brilliant and intelligent YA novel, so check that out. The next one is a book I have not talked about here. This is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. This novel is so good. If you've read this, please let me know. You, It's so good. Um, I'm going to just read the inside flat because it will say better. It'll talk better about this than I ever will. 16-year-old and not so openly gay Simon Spear prefers to save his drama for the school musical. But with an email falls into the wrong hands. Sorry, but when an email falls into the wrong hands, his secret is at risk of being thrust into the spotlight. Now Simon is actually being blackmailed. If he doesn't play wingman for class clown Martin, his sexual identity will become everyone's business. Worse, the privacy of Blue, the pen name of the boy he's been emailing, will be jeopardized. This is all written from Simon's point of view, and it is written by a woman named Becky Albertalli, who I who uh, you read about her. She's worked with a lot of, of kids um, with her job, whatever she does. I forgot. Um, but to to realize that she is this woman that is writing. I mean, it just she writes so honestly from this boy's point of view it's absolutely brilliant so check this book out so good number four chabosky your favorite graphic novel chabosky talks about she talks about a bunch of different books and a bunch of different genres on her channel but i recently went through her videos and um i saw she talked about graphic novels a lot and i don't have graphic novels covered in this tag so what's your favorite graphic novel mine i talked about why the last man before great one if you haven't read it I'll, I'll be right back. I've got books scattered everywhere. Not very organized, but I will grab it. So this is Day Tripper by Fabio Moon and Gabrielle Ba. This pulls at your heartstrings, guys. It is about a um, obituary writer is the main character, and it goes through different days of his life, but it has him dying in different ways. Um, and so you see this man, like you see all the different people that he grow that he meets throughout his life and the relationships that he has, and just the different ways his life is lived. It it's so hard to explain, but you have to read it. It is and it's absolutely gorgeous too. Ah, just an amazing, amazing story. So that's amazing. So amazing. Word of the day. Amazing. Number five. Holly Dunn design. This is the prettiest book cover you own. As you know, Holly Dunn is a book cover designer. She designed this beautiful cover. So what are some beautiful book covers that you own? Here are some of mine. This is The Fox and the Star by Coralie Bickford Smith. How pretty. This is The Essex Serpent, which I just recently hauled. And this is The Grace Keepers by Christy Logan. And I love not only this map of course but this what's under the dust jacket really beautiful that's upside down isn't it <laughs> that's upside down too i'll get better at this i will i swear next question jean bookish thoughts Okay, Jean is a fabulous, fabulous booktober, but she studied antiquity. So I want to know your favorite classic from antiquity. This is not a genre that I dive into a lot. So I have um, a couple of books that I am want to read. It's on my TBR. And these are all actually from Jean. So this is Daphnis and Chloe by Longus. This is a play? No, it's not a play. <laughs> this is... Here's some plays. This is The Oristea by... Aeschylus. So this has Agamemnon, the Libation Bearers, and the Eumenides? Oh, Eumenides? How do you say that, Jean? And, okay, so I actually have read this. This is the Three Theban Plays by Sophocles. What am I thinking? I read this. Um, Antigone, Oedipus the King, and Epidus at Colonus. These are really great, too. Number seven, Jen Campbell. Oh, love you, Jen. Um, so here I go, fanboy. I love you. I love you, Jen. She's amazing. She's amazing guys watch Jen's channel she's just brilliant and so eloquent and lovely and just phenomenal 
Okay, I'm not gonna be creepy anymore. She's fab fabulous. Um, okay, Jen Campbell. So I want to know, uh, what is this? Your favorite fairy tale retelling? I could have picked poetry. I could, you know, Jen talks about so many amazing things, but I want to know, let's hear your favorite fairy tale retelling. I have not read any, really. So I have one on my TBR. Let me go find it. <laughs> Looking for a book, looking for a book, looking for a book. Found it. This is Boy Snowbird by Helen Oyeyemi. I have not read anything by Helen Oyeyemi yet. So I think this is based off of Snow White. So yeah, I will talk about this if I ever read it. And I really want to. So there we go. Number eight, Just Kiss My Frog. Okay, so if you're a fan of Lena, you know... Uh, basically I couldn't come up with anything for Lena. She's amazing and fabulous. She, well, one of my favorite thing Lena, do, favorite things Lena does is she, her content is fabulous. It's so artistic and beautiful and so, uh, well thought out and she's just a very intelligent, creative person. But the one thing she does is she does these stream of consciousness things where she'll just turn on the camera and just, you think you're listening to this amazing poetry, but you know, she, then at the end she says, oh, I just made that up. Um, so I want you to give me some stream of consciousness talking for at least 20 seconds. <clears throat> and I will do that for you right now. I gotta get my timer. Hold on one second. I think this will be fun. And don't skip this question, people. Do it. Just gonna set the timer and just say whatever comes to your head. Maybe add some, ooh, I'm add some music. Here we go. Someone in the apartment is standing and talking and walking really fast, quick like bunnies that are f it, during mating season. I really need to go to the gym tomorrow because I have so much insight into why people lift weights and why they eat what they eat because everyone is beautiful and everyone leads their own lives. There we go. Number nine, Christy on books. So Christy talks, obviously, they all talk about a lot of different books, but a lot of what Christy does is talks about the different books that she's got from the library. So I thought you could say what your, what's the last book that you checked out from the library? So the last book I got from the library was All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders. So I didn't read this book. Um, I watched, um, I, I had, you know, booked it. I had um, held the book pre-ordered the book. What do you say? What's the, what's the verb for that? Um, I, whatever from the library a long time ago, because it was so, you know, in such high demand, I had to wait a long time for it. But once I finally got it, um, uh, you know, I didn't know if I wanted to read it because I have so many books to read and so many books that I am currently reading and want to read. Um, so I went and watched some reviews about it and they were not all that great. So I decided just to return it and maybe save it for another day. So if you've read All the Birds in the Sky and you loved it or, and you can convince me to pick it up again and read it, then that would be awesome. But if not, you know, we'll just let that one pass and maybe fate has it, then I will read it again. Okay, Kitty G, your favorite fantasy novel. Hi, Kitty. I know you subscribe to this channel. How you doing? She's great. Um, she talks a lot about sci-fi and fantasy, and she has a podcast with books and pieces. She's great. So here we go. Favorite fantasy. So unfortunately, I realized that I don't read a lot of fantasy, which d makes no sense to me because I love fantasy. Well, maybe I'm mostly like fantasy movies. Hmm. Life questions and thoughts. Anyway, um, so I have three books that I want to get to really bad. I'm reading The Novice right now, um, but these, I'm getting through it kind of. Um, these are three. So I just recently picked up um, The Gunslinger by Stephen King. I really, really want to start. This is the Dark Tower series. And this is number one. I hear amazing things about this. Um, it's a, quite a bit uh, big undertaking, but I want to just d jump right in. So I really would love to start with this and see if I like it. Then I have Kindred by Octavia Butler. I had started this a while ago, and for whatever reason, I stopped reading it. Not because I didn't like it. I really liked it. Um, I don't remember what happened. So I would love to get into this. And obviously, I know Octavia Butler is, you know, a legend. So I have to read her. So this is Kindred. And then I have all three of the Mistborn uh, series. So this is the first book, Final Empire, by Brian Sanderson. Um, it is huge, but I would love to start this because I hear really great things about this one. Number 11, Lauren and the books. Okay, Lauren is wonderful and uh, she talks about everything. 
So it was hard to come up with something for this. But one thing she does is she, whenever I watch her videos, I just get so happy and I feel so much joy. I don't know what it is. It's her energy. Something that she just, that the vibes she gives off uh, uh, during her video, uh, uh, the vibes are just fabulous. So I want, so I have your, what is it? A book that makes you extremely happy. So for this, I just thought I would show you my favorite, some of my favorite books from some of my, some authors that I just really love because reading beautiful writing just makes me so happy. So I will show you those really quickly. I've got Amy Bender, James Baldwin, Allie Smith, of course, Miss Jeanette Winterson, and a book that you will see later, Chimamanda and Gozi Adichie. Number 12, Mercy's Bookish Musings. Mercedes, you are one fabulous woman and I am just so happy for everything that you are doing with your channel and you're just wonderful and classy and just fabulous. So I want to know your favorite short story collection. She is known for her, Mercedes is known for her short stories. So, and the, and the book she loves. She has influenced me to pick up so many short story collections and I will share some of them with you now. So this book is a very Mercedes book because she was the only reason I picked up this book. This is The Last Animal by Abby Janai. Um, these stories mostly just talk about the natural world and animals and some way these are all, these are, these stories are connected with either pets or animals that have connected with other people and touched other people's lives. Uh, if you are at all interested in animals in the natural world, really do pick up this book. It is absolutely a five-star read for me. Um, these are Jen Campbell books. <laughs> um, these aren't really short stories. They're just like little snippets of things. This is Some Tales, 40 Tales from the Afterlife by David Eagleman. These are different conceptions of what the afterlife would be. And they're all like fairly short. And then this is Einstein, Einstein's Dreams by Alan Lightman. Number 13, Reads and Daydreams. This is Lauren's channel. Your favorite book that was turned into a movie. Lauren does a great page to screen series where she talks about books that have been made into movies. So for this, I chose, surprise, surprise, The Color Purple by Alice Walker. There's not much to say about this book. It's unbelievable, really lovely and fabulous. These are terrible adjectives to describe The Color Purple, but I'm a little tired. Um, so good. I still haven't watched the movie yet. What am I waiting for? I don't know. Um, color purple. So I just finished filming everything and I realized I forgot a question. Savage Reads, a uh, wonderful, wonderful um, booktuber and podcaster and a really, really cool, cool, awesome guy. Um, so anyway, Simon Savage, this is for you. I want to know. So this is your quintessential literary fiction novel. So for this, I chose What Belongs to You by Garth Greenwell. This book is so good, you guys. If you haven't read this, read it. It'll take you a second. Um, it's about a te an American teacher in... Oh gosh, great, Jeremy. I forgot where this takes place. Bulgaria. This takes place in Bulgaria. So um, it's about the teacher who falls in love with a male prostitute. And it's about his relationship with that and what happens. Um, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. Number 15, Shout Amy. She is wonderful. Uh, she talks about so many different things. I just wanted to mention her in this chat in this tag, um, so you can all go and watch her channel. But I, she talks about so much stuff. There's not one thing specific um, that we can mention. So I just want you to share any book of your choosing. So I thought I would share um, some books that I really want to get to ASAP, and I'm just gonna zip through these so you can see them and give me your thoughts about them. So here they are. I have The Veins of the Ocean by Patricia Engel. Sugar by Bernice L. McFadden, The Book of Harlan by Bernice L. McFadden, The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde by Juno Diaz, We Need New Names by Noviolet Bulawayo, and In Order to Live, A North Korean Girl's Journey to Freedom by Yonmi Park. Last question, everyone! Number 16, Sophie Carlin. Oh man, Sophie, you're... <laughs> I could, I, that was so hard to choose something for this, but I just absolutely adore this girl. She's wonderful. If you've not watched her, she just makes me laugh and smile and she's just so unique and wonderful. I love this girl. Um, but she did this one video um, where she talked about books that are only beat up. Um, so I thought, why don't you show your most beat up book that you own? So mine are actually not that uh, exciting to see. So the only two I could find it, um, are Therese Wequin, Therese Alaquin by, sorry that was absolutely terrible, I hope that did not offend anyone, uh, Therese Wequin 
how would you say that without doing a French thing? Okay, fine. Um, by <laughs> Mille Zola. So this just got some crazy uh, stuff going on back here. Uh, I think that's about it. I bought I had bought these this way, just to let you know. I don't treat my books like this. But if I did, that's okay. Watch Sophie's video. You'll see why. And um, then Ali Smith's Hotel World is not very pretty. Whew! We did it. That's it. That's my tag. I hope you enjoyed it. So now I must tag people. So, of course, if you want to do this tag, please feel free to do it. I, you do not have to be officially tagged to do this. I just want to spread the love of these booktubers. Um, I would also love to see any of the booktubers I mentioned. If you watch this video by any chance, uh, it would be really cool if you would also do this channel. I'd love to um, hear your favorites for all these different genres. And then I've got a list of some of my, you know, my booktube buddies to, to list here. So, of course, Mr. Steve Donahue, you have to be tagged. Um, Beck from Beck's Books, Elizabeth Schubert, Amy from, uh, from the Dusty Bookshelf. I don't know if you do tags, but if you do, go for it, girl. Um, Jess from Rebel Reads and Mr. Ben Sanders. I literally just subscribed to your channel. Why did I just? I should have been subscribed to you a long time ago. That's crazy. Um, anyway, that's it. Please uh, have a great rest of your weekend. Um, I probably won't be posting a video for uh, a couple days. I'm going to be a little busy, but um, yeah, have a great everything, you all. Um, please be kind. Remember, listen to each other and read some good books. Bye, everyone.